Hi, Steve here. Eric here. We're getting ready to put a Richie Breakaway Tandem in a couple travel bags. So Eric's going to jump in right now. The only thing we really have done so far is we've removed the uh, pedals. We've unhooked the couplers on our cables. And uh, now he's going to take the four bolts out of the handlebar stem. When he takes the bolts out... Uh, we're going to replace them into the stem so they don't get lost during uh, during shipping. So the handlebars are removed. Are you going to take the front wheel off next, Eric? Yes. Okay. Uh, front wheel will be removed here in just a moment. Now, the Ritchie Tandem has disc brakes. So as soon as you pull the wheels out, it's important to put the little block back into the uh, hydraulic brake. So the wheel's coming off. Okay. And... Eric will show you this little block right here. There it is. This just inserts into the brake caliber. This is just in case the brake gets uh, activated that you don't break the seals in the brake, brake unit itself. Okay, so that's taken care of. Front wheel's removed. The axle, quick release axle is going to come out. Now, maybe optional taking the disc rotor off. Uh, when we do the pack on into the bag, we'll make a determination there. Uh, we don't want the rotor to get distorted during uh, shipping. This is just a little block we make. We take the quick release, we slip that back into the fork. This gives the fork a lot of strength and integrity during shipping. You can see the little plastic tube and the quick release just went back through it. Also keeps us from losing our quick release. We know right where it's at. Okay, there we go. Next we're going to... Uh, I've already removed the bottom coupler. I, okay, yes. So now I just move the top. Uh, this is the coupler that holds the front half of the frame get together. I'll switch around here so we can get a view of that. There it is, the little clamp's coming off. The bottom clamp was already removed. So we've got the front half of the frame removed, ready to go in the travel case when we get to that point of it. Next, it'll going to slip the crank out, the front, uh, the stoker, or the captain's crank. And the crank arm just slips off. So all these Allen wrenches, you need to have those handy. And now the crank's coming out. Just slipping the chain off so that it uh, makes it possible. Yeah, you don't have to break the chain. You can leave it together. Crank comes out. And then we just kind of put all the parts back together so nothing will get lost. There we go. We're about a couple of minutes into it now, so it's going pretty well. Now, uh, I think Eric's going to take the rear wheel out, and he's also going to put the little block into the frame, but uh, he's going to take the handlebars off here, and the stoker bars and the captain's seat's coming off. There we go. Now, we're down to the rear wheel. And just as soon as those rear wheels come out, we want to get those blocks right back into the brake just as soon as possible. Uh, what we're talking about there is the brake caliber, when it squeezes, the two sides come in together. When the rotor's there, it, it limits the travel. Uh, but without the wheel in there, the, it can overstress uh, the brake. So we put those in, nothing bad will happen. Taking the quick release again, taking the little plastic tube, inserting it in the frame. And it's uh, makes that all safe and sound back there. Plus, you know, we're right where your quick release is. Now, we always recommend taking that derailleur off because a derailleur uh, can get stressed in the case. So we just take the bolt and slip it over to the side. There's no doubt this is a bit of a puzzle. Uh, it's not that difficult. I think it makes you a better bike rider in the end of the day because you understand how everything works and comes apart, goes together. And he's getting ready to wrap the uh, the derailleur. And we're pretty much there. We get this part done. We're just going to take the middle section of the frame apart. Take the seat post out. And then we're going to be ready to drop it into the bag. We're going to do this in two parts. This will be part what we call part one. And the next part will be part two, which is the placing of the parts in the bag. So we're almost there now. 
derailleur is all safe and sound in that bubble wrap and kind of in the center of the frame. Okay. Now we'll take the clamps off. Notice the chains are all left intact. You don't have to undo the releases. This front chain, when you uh, uh, put it back on, you want to put it on in a way that the cranks are in what we call timing. Most people want both pedals forward at the same time so that you don't have people running their toes into the back of the heel of the captain. Okay. Bottom clamp off. Always have you a nice place laid out where you can put all your parts so you don't leave something at home or leave something back on the trip. This is where the seat post comes out and the two halves of the frame will separate and this will be the end of part one here in just a moment. By all means, the first time you do this, if you don't think you have the skill, have a trusted friend or perhaps a, you know, a trusted mechanic. And now we got, we're all ready. So we've got the three halves of the frame and all the small parts. And we'll end, we'll end uh, video uh, number one right now. Eric, do you have anything to say? That's it. That's it? All righty. Thanks for watching Bicycle Doctor USA. Thank you.